Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to learn how to draw detailing of sleeve and quarter joint. So the diagram shows the assembly of sleeve and quarter joint. Disassemble its parts correctly. We have to draw sleeve and rod. Sleeve we have to draw front view and top view and side view. And in rod we have to draw front view and side view. So sleeve and quarter joint. Sleeve we have to draw. So this is sleeve. So this is how it will look. Then we have a rod over here, rod A. And over here we have rod B. And this is sleeve. Then we have quarter over here. This is rough 3D diagram. So you'll have an idea that how it is appearing so what we need to draw we need to draw sleeve and quarter and rod a so first we'll start with sleeve and we have to draw right hand side view so in right hand side you will draw circle so first we'll start with two circles And in front view we will draw rectangle, this will be dotted, this will be dotted, then see this part, this slot will be there for quarter, see dimensions and everything will be given to you, so don't, you don't have to worry about it. I'm just giving you a basic idea. Now this part, this dimension won't be given to you because this side is taper. So what we need to do, we need to draw quarter over here. But we will draw quarter like this, very light quarter, only for reference. That's why I'm drawing it in axis line. See, on both the sides, I will draw a very light quarter. So what will happen, then I will get the clearance, 3mm clearance. See, here you take 3mm, here you take 3mm and then draw line. So that line will be important. So that, that's how we will get that line. Here also you take 3mm, 3mm and you join this line. And in side view, it will be dotted like this. This is front view. This is right hand side view. And this is top view. This is dotted. See, this is partial section. So that's why, you know, I've shown one part in section, one part without section. So that you need to, so you can see in a detail. Here also I have done partial section. I can do full section. But I have done it like this. So then I can save some time. So here when you see in top, you'll get a rectangle with four dark lines. One, two, three, four. So it will be like this. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four. So we are done with top view. Now I need to draw rod A. So I will draw rod A. this is 2 mm 2 into 45 so that angle is 45 degree 
and this distance is 2 mm so that you should keep in mind it will be there the dimension will be there now this dotted line it will be dark in rod we will be drawing it dark because we have to do full section right so see i have done partial section and i can show now i have to draw the other side of quarter which is taper see this we know so from here i need to leave that much so that is whatever the distance plus 3 mm see this is a mistake what people will do not from here you have to take 3 mm gap because then draw the 3 mm gap and then you need to draw quarter see this is that 3 mm gap and then you need to draw quarter so after that this line this is dark line remember this is very important and this will be hatch again partial section so we are done with front view full section in rod a inside view you'll have two circles and you'll have one dotted circle also for that chamfering that 2 into 45 just keep that in mind and this part will be hatched because it's a shaft and we'll have dotted line for quarter like this now this is we need to show the cutting plane line which is very important a a dash for rod a full section here also we have to show full section so see what will become dark this much will become dark what we are focusing on we are focusing on only on sleeve so this much will be hatched so this is sectional front view this is sectional front view this is left hand side view then you can draw projection symbol scale 1 is to 1 and for dimensioning i will advise you to do all dimensions that will be advisable so i hope you people have understood this thank you